everyone welcome to law excellence in this video we are going to discuss daily current affairs prelims test questions every day our law excellence r&d team will conduct a test on 15 questions from the previous day hindu paper and the daily handout which we provide to the students and the daily handout includes deep notes that is daily editorial enrichment program that is being done by dr rambabu sir which will focus on the editorial analysis and core video hope you remember there used to be a core video where we used to focus on the backgrounders from the prelims perspective so now we are providing the core notes from the prelims perspective and pib notes so all these together comprise our daily handout as all our 15 questions were from these sources our r&d team is going to provide an explanation video daily to our students from today so in this video we are going to discuss the daily test questions that was held on 17th july now let's start our today's session our first question is consider the following statements with respect to botanical survey of india the first statement is recently the botanical survey of india has come up with the first comprehensive census of orchids of india putting the total number of orchid species or taxa to 1256 from this statement we have got some information that for the first time a comprehensive census of orchids was conducted by botanical survey of india and that survey was named as orchids of india a pictorial guide under this name this survey was published and they found that india is a home to 1256 species of orchids of which 388 species were endemic to india that means they are native to india and found only in india so we can say that our first statement is correct the next statement is botanical survey of india was established in 1880 with the objective of exploring the plant resources of the country and identifying plant species with economic virtue first let us know about this botanical survey of india this botanical survey of india is the top research organization that functions under the ministry of environment and forest i said that it is a research organization on what it will do the research on various plant resources of the country wild plant resources of the country and it will identify the plant species which were having economic value and this organization was established in 1890 it's not in 1880 but in 1890 so though the statement says the functions of botanical survey of india correctly but its date of establishment is incorrect so the statement too is wrong and only one is correct so the answer here is a one only the next question is consider the following statements with respect to blue flag certification the reason why we gave this question is recently the union environment ministry has selected 12 beaches in india to compete for this blue flag certification so first we should know to whom this blue flag certification will be given it will be given to the environmental friendly clean beaches that are equipped with facilities that were matching international standards for the tourists and there are some conditions based on which this blue flag certification will be given that is proper waste disposal system and availability of clean water for tourists and it should be disabled friendly also these are the conditions that the beaches and marinas should meet to get this blue flag certification then who will provide this blue flag certification actually there is a program known as blue 
flat program this was run by a foundation for environmental education which is an international non governmental non profit organization this program was first started in france in 1985 So if we look into our second statement it is run by the international non governmental non profit organization the foundation for environmental education yes and it is spain which has highest number of blue flag beaches followed by spain are greece and france and in asia there were only two countries they are japan and south korea with these blue flag beaches and now our ministry has selected 12 beaches to compete for this certification now we will see the third statement india is the first country in asia likely to get blue flag certification no already japan and south korea were there so the third statement is incorrect as only one in two were correct the answer here is b one in two only The next question is which of the following statements is or or true with respect to beams that is beach management services this is an integrated coastal management scheme of india which was launched by the society of integrated coastal management under the union environment ministry the main objective of this scheme is to reduce pollutants promote sustainable development and strive for high standards in the areas of environmental management environmental education bathing water quality bathing water quality and safety and security services provided scientifically a scientific safety and security services so here as both the statements are correct the answer here is c both one and two the fourth question is the term indra saurus wangi is in use recently the term refers to which of the following according to a study that was published in current biology the researchers they found a new specimen of a micro raptor with complete remains of a lizard preserved in its stomach a micro raptor was found by the researchers with the complete remains of a lizard in its stomach here if we look into this name indra saurus this is the name of lord indra this was inspired by a vedic legend in which the god indra was swallowed by a dragon indra was swallowed by a dragon during a great battle so here this micro raptor was considered as a dragon and this lizard was considered as lord indra so the researchers have named this lizard after lord indra and this lizard is completely different from the lizards which we know till now and if we look into this another term known as wangi it is the name of a professor known as wang yong who is a paleontologist of chinese academy of sciences and this is the fourth occurrence of a micro raptor preserving the stomach contents and this new lizard had teeth which is not seen in the previous ones So now if we look into our statements a recently excavated vedic age site no ancient lizard species yes newly found spider species in western ghats recently deciphered vedic script so the answer here is b and the next question is which of the following statements is or are correct about the growth models of china and india two days back there is an article known as chinese check on economic troubles that article is based on the data released by national bureau of statistics which revealed chinese economy grew by 6.2% in the second quarter which is slowest in the last 27 years 
and this article says that for the first time chinese economy is facing troubles now if we go back to a question the first statement is growth model of china is based more on exports yes chinese growth model is mainly based on cheap labor and high volumes of exports whereas india's model of growth is more based on domestic consumption we focused more on our domestic market instead of exporting our products and basing on the international markets so the statement one is correct the next statement is the affordable labor force is an added advantage for both countries on which their growth models are relied upon yes both the countries were mainly based on their affordable labor force so the statement two is also correct as both are correct the answer here is c both one and two the next question is which of the following statements is or are correct regarding no confidence motion before looking into our statements first let us see what is meant by this no confidence motion a motion of no confidence means that a person or persons in a position of responsibility are no longer fit to hold that position and our indian constitution did not mention about this no confidence motion please do remember this indian constitution did not mention no confidence but we had a constitutional provision known as article 75 which specifies the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to the house of people this implies that majority of lok sabha mps must not be against the prime minister and his cabinet that is the council of ministers along with this article 75 we also had article 118 which permits both the houses of parliament to make their own rules for their functioning and according to rule 198 of lok sabha it mentions the procedure for a motion of no confidence it talks about the procedure of no confidence motion so a no confidence motion can only be passed in lok sabha as rule 198 allows any member of the house any member of the house to give a written notice it can be moved only in lok sabha or state assembly so the statement one is correct once a notice is given to the speaker the speaker will read it in the house and ask who are all in favor of that notice in case there are 50 mps who are in favor then a date for discussing the motion will be assigned and the debate and which will be followed by the vote it has to be taken place within 10 days of notice and during the debate if majority of the members vote in favor of this motion then the motion is passed and the government whoever is in power has to vacate the office the next statement is it is moved against the entire council of ministers and not individual ministers or private members here from this statement we can learn two things yes this no confidence motion can be moved against the entire council of ministers only if it is moved against an individual minister then it is known as censure motion so the statement two is also correct and it needs the support of at least 50 members here we said once the notice is read out by the speaker in case there are 50 mps who are in favor of it a date to discuss this motion will be assigned so even the statement c is correct the fourth statement is all the statements are correct the question is which of the following statements is or or correct regarding no confidence motion so as all the three statements are correct the answer here is d all are correct 
The next question is with reference to tiger reserves, which of the following statements is or are correctly matched? Here we give tiger reserves and their location. The first one is Kanha Tiger Reserve. It is in Madhya Pradesh. Yes. Andavgar Tiger Reserve. It is in Karnataka. No. It is also in Madhya Pradesh. The next one is Sariska Tiger Reserve. It is in Rajasthan. So as only 1 and 3 are correct, the answer here is C. With reference to the 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act, which of the following statements is not correct? What is this 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act? This amendment has changed two fundamental rights that is Article 15 and Article 16. And these amendments are for the advancement, for the progress of economically weaker sections of the society. How? By it is providing 10% of reservation for the economically weaker sections. The aim of this amendment is to fulfill. We had a directive principle of state policy under Article 46. In order to promote educational and economic interests of weaker sections of the society. This is what is our Article 46. So the aim of this amendment is to promote this Article 46 of Directive Principles of State Policy. Now let's look into our statements. The amendment has changed two fundamental rights. Article 15 and 16. Yes, amendment has provided for the advancement of the economically weaker sections of the society by providing 10% reservation for them. And the aim is to fulfill the commitments of Directive Principles of State Policy under Article 46 by promoting educational and economic interests of the weaker sections of the society. Here all the three statements were correct but in the question we have asked which of them were not correct. Please correct the question it is not not correct which of the following statements is correct. So the answer here will be D all the statements are correct. Next question is with regard to tax revenues for the financial year ending March and 2019 as reported by the Controller General of Accounts consider the following statements. The first statement is direct tax collections is more than indirect tax collections in the year 2018-19. Yes, the direct tax collections were more than indirect tax collections. And the next statement is reduced tax collections in the indirect tax is due to goods and service tax that is GST. This is an incorrect statement because indirect tax collection did not reduce. Of course it increased because of GST. So the statement too is incorrect. We gave this question in the backdrop of recent report by Controller General of Accounts saying that our tax revenues both direct as well as indirect tax revenues were reduced the indirect tax was fallen short by 74,774 crores and indirect tax collection were fell short by 93,198 crores compared to that estimated in the interim budget so here as only one is correct the answer here is a one only next question is which of the following statements is or are not correct regarding siachen glacier not correct the first one is world's highest battlefield also known as third pole before going into it first let us see the location of this siachen glacier it is located in the eastern Karakoram range in the Himalayan mountains which is northeast to the point known as NJ9842 where line of control between India and Pakistan ends. This is where Siachen Glacier is located. In 1984 India has launched an operation known as Operation Meghdoot in order to capture this 76.4 kilometer long glacier that is the Siachen Glacier. And if you look into some of the facts about the Siachen Glacier, it is 
the world's highest battlefield and it is also known as third pole so the statement one is correct and it is the largest single source of fresh water in the indian subcontinent yes it is the largest single source of fresh water in the indian subcontinent and it is the world's second long longest non polar glacier whereas the first largest is in tajikistan non polar glacier and india occupied the glaciers by launching operation sankalp it is not operation sankalp but it is operation meghdoot india has not yet occupied the glaciers still the battle is going on so the question is which of the following is not correct the answer here is d the next question is which organizations prioritized water sanitation and hygiene wash services in healthcare facilities to achieve health goals wash means water sanitation and hygiene it is the world health organization dear students in our key we gave it as niti ayog please correct it the answer is b the world health organization and not niti ayog the next question is which of the following committees was set up by the government to provide short and medium term perspectives for engineering education the committee is mohan reddy committee b b r mohan reddy committee this committee has already submitted its recommendations to all india council for technical education who has accepted its recommendations what is important for us to know is about the committee and its recommendations if you look into some of its recommendations it has recommended no new engineering institutions should be allowed to set up from 2020 onwards no new engineering colleges should be set up if the colleges existing colleges wants to create a new capacity that has to be reviewed every 2 years and the committee has recommended aicte to introduce ug engineering programs undergraduate engineering programs in emerging technologies like artificial intelligence blockchain robotics 3d printing data sciences cyber security and design these are some of the important recommendations which were accepted by aicte and the committee is bvr mohan reddy committee to provide short and medium term perspectives for engineering education consider the following statements regarding biogas production it is produced naturally through the process of aerobic decomposition from waste it is not aerobic but it is anaerobic decomposition from waste the difference between aerobic and anaerobic is the presence of oxygen aerobic is in the presence of air whereas anaerobic is in the absence of oxygen so this biogas is produced through the process of anaerobic decomposition from waste and biomass sources like agriculture residue cattle dung municipal solid waste sugar cane press mud sewage treatment plant waste etc and this is called as compressed biogas after this biogas is purified and compressed and this compressed biogas will have a pure methane content of 95% of pure methane content and this compressed biogas will be exactly similar to the natural gas which is commercially available matching to its potential and composition so the next statement is compressed biogas is a purified and compressed which has pure methane content of over 95% yes as only second statement is correct the answer here is two only b the next question is with reference to sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation initiative consider the following statements this is a program launched by the ministry of petroleum and natural gas in order to provide sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation that means 
to improve the availability of affordable less cost transport fuels and to improve the usage of agricultural residue cattle dung and municipal solid waste by providing additional revenue source to the farmers so the statement one is correct and under this program an expression of interest was invited from the potential entrepreneurs to set up compressed biogas production plants in order to make use of this biogas in the automotive fuels this will benefit the vehicle users as well as farmers and also the entrepreneurs so the statement too is also correct and it was launched by the ministry of new and renewable energy this is incorrect it was launched by the ministry of petroleum and natural gas so as only one and two are correct the answer here is a only one and two the statement three is incorrect but in the key we gave the answer as b2 and 3 please correct it the answer is 1 into only the next question is consider the following statements global economic prospects 2019 of world bank has projected weakening of global trade in 2019 yes this report global economic prospects report released by world bank it has projected that the global trade is going to slow down in 2019 and the global trade is projected to grow at 2.6% this year which is below their previous forecast in january this year the world bank has forecasted that it would be 2.9% but now it has reduced to 2.6% that is by 0.3% if we look into india scenario it has forecasted that india's growth will be 7.5% per annum in 2019 2020 and also in 2021 so as both the statements are correct the answer here is c both one and two in our tomorrow's video we'll see the explanation for today's daily current affairs test thank you